Welcome to our channel, The Work of God, where we find topics of high spirituality that lead us through the paths of holiness. What stops the Holy Spirit? Why don't I feel that I have the Holy Spirit? Today we will talk about this very important topic in order to grow spiritually in fulfillment of God's will. We are all temples of the Holy Spirit. For this reason, He calls us to holiness. First letter of Peter 1, verses 15-16 In baptism we enter the body of Christ and receive the Holy Spirit, but we only receive it partially, just a spark of the divinity, not completely. Proof of that is that the apostles were baptized by Jesus and only received the Holy Spirit partially after His resurrection. John 20 verses 22 to 24 And then, in a complete way, ten days after the ascension of Jesus to heaven, on the day of Pentecost, when they were praying together with the Blessed Virgin Mary. Acts 1 verse 14 and Acts 2 verses 1 to 13 the Holy Spirit comes to teach us and facilitate sanctifying grace. And then we grow spiritually in proportion to our faith and the intensity of our desire for sanctification. We are well called to holiness, and we begin our journey of faith by believing that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, a faith that has to be put to the test. And for that, let us remember that the demons also believe in Jesus and kneel before His holy name, something that we human beings do not do, but they cannot be holy because their faith is insufficient. Faith must be accompanied by words. James 2 verses 17 to 26 Our path to holiness is continually interrupted by the spirit of the world, and we end up being more temples of the evil spirit than of the Holy Spirit. Today we will mention five things that block the Holy Spirit. The first is hatred, resentment, and lack of love for our neighbor. We cannot say that we love God if we do not love our neighbor. First letter of St. John 4 verse 20 And why is our neighbor so important? The reason is that our neighbor is also part of the body of Christ, and we cannot reject any human being, because God has created us all to be ultimately one in Him, all united in the divinity. The second reason why we block the Holy Spirit is lack of prayer. God is love, and only through love and prayer do we express to God the love we feel for Him. A lover of the earth loses the love of his beloved if he does not visit her, if he does not communicate frequently with her. The same happens with God, the beloved of our souls. Jesus exhorts us to ask the Heavenly Father for the Holy Spirit. Luke 11, verse 13. Thirdly, there is another reason why we block the Holy Spirit, perhaps the most common of all and it is that we have the spirit of the world. And what is that spirit? The spirit of the world is in everything that exists outside the interior of our souls, through the eyes, the ears, the touch, and all the senses, which are windows to the world. We attract the evil spirit to our interior and allow it to take possession of the throne of God. Pornography, Gossip, illicit sexuality, etc. First letter of St. John 5, verse 19. We know that we are children of God, and that the whole world is under the control of the evil one. That is why sacred silence is so important, in which we quiet our senses and approach the spirit of peace, which is only found in inner stillness, in the presence of God. The human race is continually being scourged by the spirit of the world, 
that has proliferated through materialism, to social media, the internet, dissipation, noise, sport, hunger for knowledge, money, fame, and pleasure. To this is added the reaction of the soul that hungers for the world and forgives the hunger for God and gives itself over to the pleasures and demands of a world outside of God. If we have faith in God, that faith must go beyond knowing that He exists. It must be a faith confirmed by our words. Love of God and love of neighbor. As for God, we must do many acts of love, praise, thanksgiving, and adoration daily. As for our neighbor, he must practice charity, not only physical, but also spiritually. This calls us to pray for the conversion of sinners and for the holy souls in purgatory. To sum up, we cannot expect to be filled with the Holy Spirit if we do not have a life of prayer, if we do not frequently receive the sacraments for our salvation, confession, and the Holy Eucharist. Many will say, but we are in the world and we need all these things. But Jesus tells us, seek first the kingdom of heaven and everything else will be added unto you. Matthew 6, verses 33 to 34. Jesus calls us to fulfill all the commandments of God's law because in this way he proved our love. John 14, verse 21. Fifthly, we must open our hearts and beseech the Eternal Father in the name of Jesus to fill us with the Holy Spirit. Luke 11, verse 13. We must fall in love with the Holy Spirit to help us cast out from our temple all the spirits of the world so that we can allow Him to reign in our temple. Short prayer to ask for the Holy Spirit. God the Holy Spirit, come into me, fill your temple, rest in me, abide in me, you in me, I in you, the two of us one, in God the Father and in Christ Jesus. Amen. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel The Work of God, share on social media and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.